Hey guys, and welcome to the American Contractor Show. I got something really exciting for you today. My friend Ryan Holiday from Inc. is with us. And uh, if you guys don't know what Inc. is, I think I always think of like Chase Inc. Yeah. for some reason whenever I think of you guys' name, which is a brilliant name though. Oh, um, but really what you guys do is kind of similar. It, it is, yeah. We, um, we're eliminating the ink, so to speak, but uh, more yeah. specifically, we're eliminating the ink on on these that right, guy right here. there, a check. So, you guys, uh, for contractors that are watching this, if you're a storm restoration contractor, you ever deal with insurance claims, you know that these bad boys right here are coveted. Except not this one. This one's fake. And it's it is. Void. It but, is. But you know the real ones that have actual amounts on it. You guys love getting your checks, but what's the number one problem when a contractor gets a check like this? Probably the mortgage company, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> or the seven payees on it, or the combination of both. But I'd, uh, I'd say it's definitely the mortgage company. Let's talk on averages real quick, because this is, this is, we're talking about endorsements right now. Yep. And that's what Inc. really does, is fix that endorsement problem, where a contractor has to take this check mm -hmm. to the homeowner to get it endorsed, the mortgage company, all these different things. This process is cumbersome. It's the worst. It is the worst. Yeah. It's one of the toughest things that uh, that we have to deal with as contractors. Mm -hmm. And it holds up our cash flow, which and then in turn creates a snowball effect of holding up the entire process. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about sales processes right now, sales cycles, and they, they end up going way too long. Way too long. When you have a job going 30, 60, 90 days on a project that literally a contractor can get done in a day or two, mm -hmm. but we're being held up because we've got to get all this red tape cut through all this nonsense to get paid. Yep. That's a massive problem for any business. Yeah, huge problem. So you guys saw this problem. You were a contractor. I was, yep. And so what was kind of your guys' journey to this point? Well, it was a long one, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, we uh, started the company out of frustration. You yeah. know, we were living and breathing this problem every day. We call it chasing the money. And it's, <laughs> it, you know... Yeah, that's the problem. It, it, it's really an advanced administration portion of this process. And uh, it's not just answering the phone at your at your office. It's not just, you know, sending in a materials order. This is, um, you know, getting multiple stakeholders together to sign off on a financial transaction that's thousands of dollars, sometimes tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars sometimes. Yeah. Um, we've processed checks as large as 1.1 million. So um, it's a uh, very cumbersome process and uh, very paper heavy. And what we're trying to do here at Inc. is ultimately eliminate the paper, including the check from the process so that it's a completely digital payment, but understanding the different stakeholders involved now and how everything works and flows very nicely and securely um, is, is what we've been really uh, fixing in the interim. So, Well, let's talk about that problem a little bit. How much, what's the average jobs claim size in the United States right now, you think? Oh, it's Roughly. probably ten to twelve thousand. Ten to twelve thousand dollars, right? Yeah. By the time you take off all your overhead expenses, the cost of doing the job, uh, the you know all the the commissions, everything else, contractors left with what ten percent, twelve percent, maybe. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, somewhere around there. Maybe the the better ones are a little bit higher if yeah, you're talking so about net margin. But say fifteen percent. So on a ten thousand dollar claim, you're left with a fifteen hundred dollar mar margin, right? Yeah. Now cut that margin into how long it takes to actually get to that money, yeah, yeah. minus all the back and forth that you've got to get. So you've got to either do it yourself, which mm -hmm. is an incredible waste of time. Exactly. Or you've got to hire some staff, mm -hmm. which is expensive mm -hmm. is, and still not going to get you any faster to getting paid, right? Nope. So what's the solution that you guys came up with? Well, <laughs> solution is ink, um, yeah. and ink payments is really... Uh, an all-in-one solution for exactly that. You know, if you could have a check that has just multiple stakeholders on it, multiple payees, but maybe there is no mortgage company. Right. But that company, or I'm sorry, that customer lives an hour away. Yeah. And what what normally happens? Either you're driving out for that check, or you're, well, up until now, yeah, manually, I got to go out there and exactly. do it. Exactly. Or or, or your, your salesman, it. your salesman's going out, or you're paying for that mail. Either way, you're spending time, or you're waiting. To process that check and all you're doing really is meeting up for a couple signatures and then taking it to the bank or bring it back to the office gets in a stack of checks well, that goes to the bank the mortgage and, company though that, that that name's on there now but if even if they're not yeah even if even the mortgage if company's not. not it's a it's just driving out to to pick up that check is uh t time consuming and so we have a solution for that as well 
um, very similar to what you would imagine DocuSign for a multi-party check we have built for uh, this payments process. So you could have two insureds on the check. Let's say, unfortunately, they're now divorced and one of the insureds lives in another state. Yeah. Well, rather than mail that check around and wait for everybody to sign off on it before it actually gets deposited or gets to the contractor's account, you can do that all digitally right through our platform, upload a picture of the check, everybody digitally endorses it, everybody authorizes where those funds are going, and then they're sent the following business day to at the latest, so depending on the size of the check, but much faster than having to meet up and then go to the bank and then still waiting for that processing time of the check and the ACH at your local bank. So I think we're faster than what exists now. We're certainly much more efficient, and that's just checks without a mortgage company, so we can still help with checks. Just that regular, have just yep. multi-party checks without a mortgage company with a homeowner. So what's what? those are considered what? Like just... Those, those are, um, well, luckily, those are just a Like, a, why, would, a claim why check. would an insurance company not put a mortgage company on a check? Because uh, I've always wondered that. Like, I've seen some checks have it, some checks don't. It's a good question. So, um, typically, because there is no mortgage, uh, that's, the, that's the property may yeah. be uh, uh, paid off, or paid in full, and um, so there's no, you know, mortgage monitoring that needs to be done with that claim check. You know, the mortgage company wants to know, hey, we're looking out for this asset. If anything happens to it, we want to make sure that it does get repaired. And so that's why they're involved in the process. Typically, any check over $2,500 where the mortgage company is on the property, the mortgage company is going to be listed as a payee. Okay. So that's the, that's the, th the threshold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's scenario one, right? Scenario one. Yeah. Terrible problem. We all hate it. We want to get paid faster. Yep. And, you know, because we got we got bills to pay, right? Exactly. If you're if you're got a ten thousand dollar claim, that means you're probably being held up by six, seven, eight thousand dollars, and that takes forever. So now you've slowed down your entire process. Yep. All right. Scenario two: mortgage companies on it, but there's a difference between certain ways that mortgage companies handle these checks. Yep. So if there's an if there if there's a mortgage company on this, what do you guys do differently? So um, that claim check can, you know, be sent to the mortgage company. They're going to do one of two things. They're either going to verify the information and then endorse it and send it back, mm -hmm. or they're going to require additional information and they're going to deposit that check and make disbursements. And that's what you know a, a lot of folks hate. Um, the, disbursements uh, mean multiple payments based mean, on completion of project? Right. So that, that's, that's the difference between a non-monitored. So non-monitored claims in the eyes of the mortgage company are any claim that's under $40,000 RCV and or there is no mortgage delinquency on the account within 24 months of the date of loss. Okay. So, um, so you that's could, just a late pay of any type. It could be. You could have um, an insured, a customer that has a $20,000 claim or a $10,000 claim even. We've seen it on simple roof claims where the mortgage company um, unfortunately wanted to monitor that claim because of a delinquency. So they require everybody to sign off on that check before it goes in and then they deposit it and then they're going to issue disbursements. And the problem with that is, John, is that you could have a $20,000 claim and your ACV check is $9,000 mm -hmm. and you send that ACV check in for nine grand, but the mortgage company only sends back $3,000. Right. What, what are you going to do with $3,000 on a $20,000 job? Not right. much. You, know, you can not even get materials for that cost. So um, that's the challenge with the monitored claims. Understandably, the mortgage company wants to make sure that everything's getting back to pre-loss condition. They're looking out for their investor's asset. They've deemed this as a riskier uh, scenario, and so they monitor it, and that's the difference between monitored and non-monitored claims. So Okay. Well, that makes sense then, and that's that's a good explanation of it because that's a big question that people have, especially when you get into these larger claims. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole different world. But the majority of the claims that we're working on, that you know, especially here at Balance or you know the, co the contractors that we see, um, you know, the majority of your claims are in the ten to twelve thousand yeah. dollar range, like we said. Uh, maybe you get a twenty, thirty thousand dollar claim. Those aren't monitored as mm -hmm. commonly. So, um, so w let's kind of walk through the process. In fact, I want to sign up for an account with Inc. Here. Yeah, great. Is we, that cool? Yeah, absolutely. We. Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up right here <laughs> on the screen. So, um, so we'll get we'll get uh, Inc. going. So let's get that rolling. All right. So uh, I'm gonna guess uh, I'll put in my name here. My name is John. Not that. That's my name. And uh, we'll use our ACS email address here. You probably want to put your full name too, just for. Oh, I should put my full name. Okay. So. Good I, measure. And now I got. I'm gonna sign up. So for those of you guys that watch the show and get our 
emails when you uh, when the show gets uploaded. I'm sure you've seen this email address mm -hmm. plenty of times. All right, so we're in, right? So we're in there now. Uh, let's go back here. I'm going to open it up here. But actually, let's start with this process. So I've got a check to endorse, right? Mm -hmm. I've got this check here for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. $12,346.45.67. This is made out, in fact, I'll put up to the camera here. It says uh, ABC Roofing and CBD Public Adjusting and Joe Smith and Jane Smith. Lots of endorsements here, right? Uh, we'll put that up here on the screen here in a second. So thank God that Mickey Mouse signed it. And uh, <laughs> so I'm going to start the uh, endorsement process here. And I think most people would probably do this on their phone, so we'll record this and share it. But yeah. So I'm just getting you set up here for showing the folks on the screen what it looks Stamper like. Stamper right for deposit only, ink pay account number below the signature area. So I'll do that real quick. Uh, do we have a pen around here? I found a pen. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to basically uh, do this here. I'm going to write for deposit only on this check. Follow the instructions on the screen. And my handwriting is terrible. And I was supposed to put that lower, but whatever. That's fine. All right. So we're going to take a photo, right? Mm -hmm. With the front of this check. Yep. And uh, should we do it this way or this way? Either way is fine. Either as long way. as it's a clear picture. As long as you guys can see all the numbers, right? That's right. Cool. So we'll use that photo. And then we'll take a photo of the back of the check. All right, then I'm going to put the check amount here, which is 12000 It's an easy one. Uh, we got to put a claim number here. So we got a claim number on that, CL3. Two eight nine one seven four. Uh, scope of loss. We just put a. It, a if you have your uh, your scope, insurance paperwork. Yeah, yeah okay. paperwork from the carrier. All right, and then I basically. And you can pick a dummy file just to upload something there. Okay. For now. I'll just upload a, a photo of the American Contractor Show logo. There you go. And then uh, so it says add stakeholder here. So that, so that would be a uh, person on the check that's going to be uh, receiving funds. Okay. So whoever I want to, basically, right? Whoever's, yep. So it could be any vendor or anybody? Could, yeah, it could be. It could be a public adjusters receiving some of the funds if they're involved in the, in the uh, claims process. Maybe the rest is going to the contractor. Um, you could even have a little bit that's going back to the insured. You know, maybe there's some repairs that they didn't complete just yet. Or things they're doing themselves. Or things that they're doing that th themselves, yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, any any which way that that money or that check needs to be split up, we can do that. Okay. And you would enter that information in there and then click Submit. Yeah. So we've gone through this whole process. We've uploaded this deal. So then all I have to do is go here, Yep. essentially? Just log in and you can access your portal online. You can access it on your phone. All right, so we're logged in. Okay, so when I do start to do all this. Yep, it's going to pop up right here. You can start a new file there as well, but um, your pipeline is going to be listed here. So all the checks that you've uploaded are going to show right here. And eventually we're going to have features where you can just pick and choose, and we haven't gotten to this yet, but you can pick and choose which one of those checks you want funded right now. So you don't have to wait for the mortgage company you don't have to wait for that back and forth of mail and... Well, let's talk about that. Sure. So essentially then, we can have those checks funded ahead of time. How does that, how does that work? Like, how, how is that possible? So remember all those non-monitored claims we were talking about? Mm -hmm. Anything under 40,000, probably 80% or more of all the claims that are filed today? Okay. Um, once we have verified that check and we've verified the claim details and we have verified the uh, mortgage monitoring or non-monitoring with the mortgage company, which we do at the beginning of the process with the insured, because they're going to receive an email. They'll click on it and verify a couple things. Obviously, they need to know what's going on, right? But right. Um, once they do that, we uh, identify that it's a non-monitored claim. We can fund that immediately. So you can opt in to have those funds right away for just 1.95%. Which is extremely cheap. 
Yeah, it's not bad. So, well, let's uh, talk uh, about this this concept because this has been around for a minute. There were some companies that did this in the past. Yeah, there, there they are. They charge like yeah. 10, 12, 15 percent. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in what that was versus what this is? Because this this almost seems too cheap. If that makes sense. I, I guess the difference would probably be about eight to thirteen percent. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, the uh, no, I mean, I get we, that, but I mean, I, I I think the you know the the important part is. Uh, we have a very technologically advanced process that ties in with our banking partner, Avidia Bank. Um, we are set up to move money like a bank can move it. And we've done all the appropriate checks on you as the contractor when you sign up. Right. One of the things that no one's seeing here is the, uh, the back end checks that we do, uh, bank level checks actually, that we're doing to verify you are who you say you are, your legitimate business, you know, you're not laundering money, so on and so forth. Um, and once we've performed all those checks and you are approved within our platform, you're a, an approved vendor to receive funds. So okay. um, we do that with everybody. We even verify the identities of the insured. So we want to make sure that every person that's either listed as a payee on the check or is receiving funds has been verified as a legitimate business. Okay, so once the check's been submitted to you guys mm -hmm. through this process, where do you guys, What? because I mean right here we've got We've got ABC Roofing, the public adjusting, the CBD public adjusters. We got Joe Smith and Jane Smith. Yep. Where is this? Where is this going now? So this check is still going to go to the mortgage company right now. Okay. Um, we still have to deal with that paper, but right. You don't have to wait for that back and forth anymore. So once we've verified everything with the check, um, we would provide those instructions to you to endorse it, and then we provide you a shipping label as well. So check gets mailed off. We handle all the back and forth with the mortgage company still, but those funds are in your account the day after we have verified this check. Okay. So you don't have to wait for any of that back and forth for just 1.95%. So, so, but where does the money go? Which money? So like the, we, we're doing this back, like we're sending this off oh, to the mortgage company, sure. to all them. Are they going to still mail us back a check that we have to then mail to you? Nope. They're going to mail that first check back. And all you have to do is take a picture of the back of the check again with the mortgage endorsement on it comes into our system, all the additional signatures are applied digitally, and Got those it. funds are then repaid to us, but we would have already sent those funds to your account. So Got it. when we verify the check, the funds come out of our account into your account the next day. When that check comes back from the mortgage company, it just gets repaid to Inc. Okay, so that speeds up that whole process. It does, it's more, and I know as we're explaining, it seems like a long process, but it's really snap a picture of the check, get it into our system, we verify Which is what everyone. you're going to do anyways when you deposit it, the check into it, the bank. Exactly. So it, it's less time than you're going to spend standing in line at the bank. I can assure you of that. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Anything. Uh, All right. So let's let's refresh this now. Oh, yeah. Hit that. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, we're, so my check's in there now. Yep. yep. Instantly. So we hit, the, we hit the review button here, right? Yep. And then we're seeing everything that was turned into you guys. Yep. And it's done. Well, can we edit any of this at this point or no? Um, because I haven't, I, the professional, have not signed this. Yeah, of course. So uh, once, and we didn't do all the stakeholders on the check, obviously, but... Because we'd have to put all their names on it. Right. Anyone Correct. who's receiving funds or authorizing those funds to be sent somewhere, yeah. like the insureds, they're typically not going to be receiving anything. So right. they still need to sign off on the fact that they're aware of where it's going and uh, they approve of who it's going to. But... Um, down there where you see the signature line? Yeah. That is where uh, you would sign the, uh, or, or we, we would, once you sign rather, that would show up and say that you've So essentially it. what's gonna happen, and this is where it gets really fun because now, instead of me having to chase down all these people, you guys are gonna do that for me. That's right, they're just gonna get an email so, request to endorse the check digitally and nobody has to meet up in person. Let's see, I should, I'll see if I got that email yet. Okay, so this is really interesting though. This is fascinating to me um, because it all just keeps it all in one place. So then we can just keep going, adding mm -hmm. more checks as we go, see where everything's at. So this check right now is submitted for review. So you guys are reviewing this check right now, yep. essentially. Yep. I'm sure uh, someone back there is going to be pretty upset when they see this one. Oh, they're, they're, they're trained to uh, spot the fake ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we do double check everything, um, even, even if uh, you've looked at it three times and made sure there's no errors. We're still gonna take a look and make sure everything is good to go. Um, but at any rate, much faster than what everybody's doing right now. That makes sense. So it's a pretty cool process for sure. Um, 
being able to quickly and easily put all this information in, get everything done, and send it off to, to you guys makes our life so much easier at this point. And easy. the whole point of this is to speed up this, the, the process, speed up the cycle, the sales cycle. Yep. And so essentially with your guys' new system, all that they have to do is do this, select which checks they want to get quick, and they get paid instantly. That's and right. that's it. That's right. So once the check is uploaded to Does the system. Does it matter if it's a first check, second check, third check, whatever? Doesn't it doesn't matter. It can be any check that's got the mortgage check company in the on process. it. So that's right. So if we've, again, identified that it's a non-monitored claim and it's in their pipeline and they need the money, we can we can do that right away on that check. Which is a massive point of you know issue for contractors, especially trying to close out those final checks and waiting for you know final payment to come in, mm -hmm. final invoicing. It's It can take weeks, and especially if you've paid ABC, you've paid your crews, you've paid all your people off, you're, you're usually in the red at that point. Yep. And having to wait for those final payments in order to get yourself back into the black, this yep. will help that. Yeah, and the, the craziest thing about it is, you know, a lot of contractors, especially storm chasers, they feel like the more business that they get, the better. It actually ends up drowning them because oh, yeah. they have so many receivables and they can't get the money in fast enough, you know, to, just to keep up with the pace of how many jobs they're selling. But if you don't have the reserves in your account to cover all those receivables because of this float. Right, because you, you're floating the money. Exactly, you're, you're, you're dead in the water. So would you rather use our money for 1.95% or would you rather have your own money tied up in materials and labor? Right. And you know that. And 1.95% is so cheap. I mean, think of what you're paying for credit cards or for anything else. It's 3 to 5%. It's cheaper than your merchant fee that you're probably paying. Way right cheaper. <laughs> Way so. cheaper. No, this is, this is a great deal. And I'm, I'm really excited that you guys are offering this new service. Uh, has this been introduced yet? This has not been in the market yet, To right? the public? Yeah. No. So this is brand new. Brand new. <laughs> I think I know what contractors are going to think about this. <laughs> They're, they're going to think I'm nuts. They're going to think you're nuts, exactly. But, you know, <laughs> I, I keep pointing to, um, point to our partnerships. You know, we're partnered with Avidia Bank. We're partnered with Equifax. Um, we're going through, you know, SOC 2 monitoring, which is compliance and data security monitoring that every enterprise level financial institution has to go through. Um, we take it very seriously. Uh, we uh, just had a partnership executed with Visa. Nice. Um, so these are, you know, names that a lot of folks, you may not know Inc, but you've heard of Visa. You've heard Which, of Equifax. Which, to be fair, like the other solutions that have been out there in the past, they don't have those things. They don't. And um, not that they, they didn't recognize the problem and they were... The problem was definitely there. The problem's it's definitely there. there. And, and, you, and they want to wanna solve it. I, yeah, I, I, I applaud them for trying to solve it. Um, but, you know... Taking 10% of a contractor's profit is a lot of money, a little, a little especially. It, it is, but <laughs> you know you got to do what you got to do sometimes as a contractor. And well, that's your margin. Exactly, and you end up working for free. Is right. is what you're really doing at the end of the day. And so, I think that um, our platform is going to give, especially the smaller guys, a chance to survive and make it through. The good guys who are out there doing it right, but just you know can't keep up with the back end management of their AR. Um, and keeping these these uh, these funds moving quickly, I mean, we're happy to help them. And yeah, and I'm excited about it. And you guys have gone through this process. You've learned how to navigate what is a pretty complex actual process. Um, it's it's not simple to deal with these insurance companies and the mortgage companies no. all at the same time. These are multi-billion-dollar companies that they don't really care. Let's yeah. just be real. Like at the end of the day, like they're going to go through their process regardless of what any contractor cares or how loud you scream or anything else. Like. It just is what it is. Mm -hmm. And so you guys have figured this out. You guys are coming out with this new platform. You've been doing endorsements now for a minute. This is exciting stuff. And I appreciate you guys taking this problem and building a solution that is actually going to work. Yeah. No, I mean, we're very excited for our new technologies. We have, um, you know, some additional ones coming, I think, in the next 30 days or so that uh, are going to be just as game-changing. More specific, I'm excited. More specifically for uh, public adjusters, though. Cool. I know we, we work with a lot of contractors, but uh, the PAs are definitely feeling it as well right now with some challenges in the industry. So we're excited to solve for them. And uh, we will definitely be keeping you guys updated on everything sure. that's going on. And love, we love, you having, know, lo love to be on the show, by the way. Thank we, you. Thank you for coming by. And just so you guys know, Inc. is going to be or is the title sponsor for the upcoming American Contractor Storm Summit which is happening April 15th and 16th That's virtually right. online. Um, so it is the American Contractor Storm Summit presented by Inc. 
and this is who Inc. is, and this is the solution that they have for our industry. And I'm really excited that we get to kind of debut this with you guys yep. and get this out to the industry. And so uh, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, make sure to go to the link. We'll make sure we post it in this video notes, um, as well as, you know, connect with, with Inc. and find out what they're doing. You're going to be speaking there about this issue in, in a much more in-depth way to, yes. to help teach you guys what exactly you need to be doing to, to really move this process along. So get your AR people, get your office staff for this for this presentation because it's going to be one that you want to share with them. Absolutely. Um, get them on the same page and, and give them the tools that are going to make their, their job much easier and a lot, you know, speed up your money. That's the goal here. Yeah. The, the, that's a race. Money loves speed. And if you're taking 30, 60, 90 days to get paid, trust me, if you talk to any any successful business person, they'll tell you that's a huge, huge problem for your business. Because they can't, you can't, you can't cash flow that. You can't. And it, unless you have a massive amount of cash sitting back that you can, but even then, it costs you money to not have that money working for you behind the scenes. That's right. Um, and so you want, it's a race. From the moment you sign that deal, you start working on that job, it is a race to see how fast you can get paid. This is an unfair advantage. <laughs> I'd say so. I, you know, the, uh, <laughs> I, I ask contractors that all the time, you know, what's your customer going to say when you can tell them that once their claim's approved, uh, they're going to have to wait until the mortgage company sends that check back, but your competition down the street can get that check funded right away through Inc. That's true. And get their job into production right away. Yeah. So who do you think they're going to want to go with in that scenario? So um, it's just the reality of where we are now and where we're headed, I think, is even more exciting. Well, the technology but, is so advanced now, and you guys have done partnered with the right people, gotten the right pieces yeah. in place, that it's it's a no-brainer for the poly or even the homeowner. The homeowner is going to look at you like a hero. Like yeah. you're 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 that much more legit because you've partnered with Inc. Who's partnered with all these major companies, these banks and mm -hmm. Visa and all these different things that you talked about that are com Equifax. They're all common, you know, household names at that point. So this is awesome, dude. I really appreciate you uh, giving us a little bit of a sneak peek into this yeah, this new it. portal and all the new tools that are coming out because this is the kind of stuff that can revolutionize your business. Period. You get a hold of all the tools and man. 20 years ago, where were you guys? I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody was there 20 years ago, even on the banking side, but uh, we're, yeah. we're getting there. And uh, like I said, real excited for the future and what's to come. Um, if anyone is excited to hear about uh, these solutions today, I can promise you in three months, there's going to be a lot more that are just well, as exciting. I know there's things you're not even, telling me. So. There, there, there are. There are definitely some things that uh, I that can't share works. today. But uh, but yeah, we, we're, we're just honored to have the opportunity and the support um, behind us to really solve this. That's what's kept us going all these years is everyone kept telling us, um, wow, this is a great idea. Why didn't I never think of this? And I can't believe someone's actually solving for this. And so it's kept us going and, and uh, it hasn't been easy. We haven't, uh, you know, we, we didn't come out the gate and, and, and just start crushing it right away, uh, but we continually get better and we're really getting to a point where it's going to positively affect this industry across the, the entire board. So we're very honored to be a part of it. For sure. So guys, get to in, inktech.com. That's I-I-N-K tech.com. There's a link in the description of this video. Sign up for Inc. right now. It's free to sign up. You can try it out, see if it works for your business, see if it makes your life easier. I guarantee you, your office staff will thank you for that. And then make sure to go get a ticket to the summit so that you guys can learn all about Inc. and other solutions like Inc. that are going to be there as well to help you become better, like Hail Trace and all these other oh, great yeah. tools. And not only that, but all the knowledge that's going to be there. So grab your ticket. It's only 99 bucks. I mean, how can I say that? Like, it's $99 to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Inc. for sponsoring that and helping bring that price down. Uh, we're trying to keep it at that price and not have to raise them because it's, it's pretty expensive to put a summit on because yeah. there's a lot of production that goes into it. Awesome. But it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure to get your ticket to that. And uh, so you don't miss it. And thank you so much, Ryan, for being here sure. at the American Contractor Show. Thank you. In the studio. This is the first time I've gotten to do a yep. tech showcase in the studio. So We'll do more. We'll do I, more. This I is really fun. I hope so. Thank you so much, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thank we'll you see so you guys much. soon. Thanks so much for watching today's show. Make sure to like and subscribe our pages so that you can stay up to date with every episode. And by the way, this show is all about you, the American Contractor. Be sure to comment, let us know what you want to hear about and what subjects you want us to touch on. We'll be sure to include them in a future episode. Thanks again and I hope you have a great day.